you gonna boss swing you boutique? You too wish to bear witness to the rights of dissension? No. As a businessman myself, how could I not take interest in Liyue's most important business trends? I don't know. The 17 predictions given last year made more than a few ripples. No. What's more, there's been a rumor going around that the Tianxue herself, Ning Guang, has been acting secretly in the shadows. She wants the rocks created by GeoVision holders to be exempt from taxation. Wow, that's some super professional legal stuff, that is. It's called taxation. When did it become legal? <laughs> to be on the pulse of the predictions and the market is what makes this harbor what it is. Among uh -huh. the seven, Rex Lapis is the oldest deity. Just like China. <laughs> His keen sense of strategy is well trusted among his people. Uh -huh. Understanding the predictions as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, who else we talk to? Great history oh, among locals. Are you also foreigners here for the right of dissension? You sound very timid for someone who looks so badass. <sighs> to think I've lived in the year all these years and never come to see this before. <laughs> I guess it's like they say, locals never visit the tourist spots. I ah, wish you well on your travels. Li Ye always welcomes you. Li Ye? Oh god, he calls it Li Ye. Of dissension. Like, pretty much once everyone year, else is Rex king Lapis cousin. bestows upon us. Last year it was the Yuhan of the Liyue Chi Sing that was given the honor of- I'm not good at Chinese names! I suck at Chinese names. As Paimon calls it Li Ye. But that other guy called it Liyue. The Liyue the now she calls it Liyue. Liyue. I'm just calling that's it Liyue. Why? Because that's why everyone in this game calls it. Because Chinese. Even Chinese myself. <laughs> <laughs> because Chinese names are so dang complicated. How the hell do you deal with it, Patrick? The true control over Liyue will always be held by Rex Lapis. The Chi Sing is comprised of mere mortals. Rex Lapis is a god. Mondstadt's god is nowhere to be seen, whilst our god is forever with us. I feel like I'm going to start a religion war if everybody keeps talking about their god. Stay in Liyue long enough and you'll see. Given that you just left your godless city, it's time you experienced what it's like to be in a city whose god has walked with it through all of history. Oh man. She's having an underlying argument that, that's all like, WHERE'S YOUR GOD NOW?! Great! Then we can start our experience off with the right of dissension! Good choice. Then get going. To the high ground. Oh, God, the high I'm ground. having another Anakin moment here. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, join the crowd and wait for the begin. You and Pi won't wait for the right of dissension to begin. Uh, oh, and it somehow became daytime. Squad. You're magical. Fly over everything. Ooh. Oh no, wait, that, that was like. I thought that yeah, hand was like a giant hand. Making fun of Mondstadt for Dune Goddamn. Mondstadt's 
god is nowhere to be seen, whilst our god is forever with us. Dang. They're like, where's your god now? And then they had a moment where their god died in front of them and like, ooh, karma, instant karma. Oh no, the Melons. Looks like they're nabbing suspects who got too close. Paimon's freaking out. The killer is amongst us. How? Let's just descend it from a tornado in the sky. Wait, uh, what? we got close. Are we suspects? Are you? Wait, where are you going? Uh, it was, a, it was a god we faced off again when we first arrived in this world, too. Uh, the Valen. Oh no, there's a whole bunch of soldiers out there, too! Your identity! You may not be the killer, but we can't... But it's... All they know. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We're gonna... Stealth it away from these guys. Uh -oh. Okay, so I actually have to sneak around. Oh god. <laughs> Nobody suspects a thing. Never mind! Also, Paimon can fly anywhere. Why would she need to stay close to the end? Close to the ground. There's nowhere to run. Uh yes, there is. Hold still. Come with me. Come with me if you want to live. Also, I'm too good looking for my own good. Oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> hey, it's like, I'm too hot for this. Him. Why? I'm even more me, just why muscles are magical. So insensitive! You have no idea just how tiring going around. Just who are you exactly? Call me child. Oh it's my god. Child. Child? What? What? So we're supposed to dote on you? Should I expect you to live in your own man cave like a man child? <laughs> no, no, not at all. It's, it's an, an alias, alias of sorts. I, I don't know. Like, I get in Eastern places, like, some people carry their childhood into adulthood and somehow that's normal. But from a Western perspective, why? In Mondstadt. I don't suppose you came across a senora by any chance. No, I can't remember. Senora? You're Fatui! One of the Harbingers! Oh, no. Don't worry. I'm not looking for a fight. Senora gave you quite the bad impression, huh? That woman. Can't say I'm a fan either. Right. I got my Let's own agenda. That, shall we? I bet you don't even I'm here to help you. Uh, help? Yes. I'm not a bad guy. Okay, perhaps I'm kind of a bad guy. <laughs> hey, you just 180 right trouble. there. I'm not bad. Oh wait, I am. Never mind. No, boy, I Would it be too much to ask for you to keep the sword sheath? Oh, that stole the the lighter. Yeah. Keep the sword sheath. Would it be too much to keep you the sword sheath? You don't have a sword. How would I, I know? Thank you for your knightly nobility. Hmm. Wait, how would you know I'm a knight? I never said anything. I heard of your deeds in Mondstadt. Oh, wait, so there you go. I couldn't help but notice you during the proceedings, and because I had my eye on you the whole time, I know it wasn't you. Someone else was clearly behind. suspicious. And who was it? But, regrettably, given I'm a Fatui envoy from Snezhnaya, there's no way I'd be trusted after something of this magnitude. Oh, God, the names in this. I can't. <laughs> the ruling Qixing of Liyue has always been overly suspicious of us. Anyone who's ever been any position of power is always going to be suspicion of anyone regardless. No questions asked by default. What do you expect? Well, can you honestly blame them? <laughs> yes. yes. I shouldn't try to deny that. <laughs> okay, sure. 
Maintaining a distance between strangers is probably a good idea. Either way. But right now, if you want to clear When did you ever decide not you decide to be strangers? To Bank. Staying here isn't an option. As the old Leo was saying goes, the walls have ears. I've seen the also I got an achievement there. Don't know what that is. No well, question. Yeah. Japan again. <laughs> <laughs> China like <laughs> This bank was open here in Leo. Japan looks like similar to North Korea, not gonna lie. Why? Why is Japan land similar to North Korea? Correct, this bank was open here anyway. Though everyone knows Leo is the most enterprising in Tibet, Snezhnaya is not short of change either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, poorer nations don't seem the type to have diplomats that come around acting the way yours do. <laughs> uh, here, yeah, let me give you uh, this. Snezhuma is based off Japan in the Edo you know, period, where they like closed off to every other country. Dang. Oh, no, wait. I think it was the, the Yokohama period. That's when I don't they... remember. I'm not going names. Uh, so I, I did actually look up a bit of a... I'm not sure exactly. Sometimes all money can buy is things and not a name for oneself. All I know is that it's a sigil. A sigil to keep the mighty and illuminated Adepti from bringing harm to you. If you head north from the harbor, then west from Guayli Plains, you will eventually reach a stone forest known as Dweyun Karst. Dweyun Karst. That's a weird name. There's so many weird names in this. The people of Liyue believe it to be the abode of the Adepti. Uh, they Legend really or not, that? they believe it. As <laughs> such, offerings to the Adepti are made at its borders. Nobody dares venture in. But I have no need for believing. Not when I know for a fact that the Adepti truly exists. I don't need to know. I already know. I hate to admit it, but your Fatui intel seems alright. But why would we go looking for Adepti anyway? Uh, uh, as much as I really want to rip on Paimon for that, she, she does that point. <laughs> oh, my little friend. There are plenty of reasons mortals seek the blessings of Adepti. Such as... Money, health, love... But you... You will go for justice. Justice? The Chi Sing will already have dispatched the Millilith. They'll be seeking out the assassin from amongst the onlookers. But how could a mere mortal kill a god that can sweep aside entire armies? Rex Lapis never gave up his power as a god. This level of crude response is beyond what is called you for. Think they're trying to hide the true How suspicious. Or to hide something else. Hard to say. They're trying to make somebody else a fall guy. Even now, the Northland Bank wouldn't be able to hold the Millilith off for long. But the Adepti can clear you of any wrongdoing. Leo was founded by the Geo Archon and the Adepti. Of course, it was built by force. Look for them, and be faster than the Chi Sing's messengers. So you may give your version of events first. There is anyone that can help you in Leo now. Can only be the mighty and illuminated Adepti. Okay. I gotta go travel to magical land, whatever it is. Alright. Now, let's see. Leeway Continental Explorer. Oh man, there. Oh god. There's so many teleport stones around here, I can't even figure out. Oh man. So that's where everything is. Oh, broke my legs. And who might we be? Those that dare enter Dweyun Karst. Dweyun Karst. The Dweyun Karst. Mm. I was sent here. Please take a look at this. Please? A sigil of permission. Many a season has passed since one was last in the presence of such an item. I am a talking deer straight from hell. How may I oblige? He before you is the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Mooncarver. Speak, traveler. What business have you here? <laughs> Speak, or my horns will do the talking. Actually... The assassin! They dared to flee here to Dreyun Karst. Mm. Sir, we've already stepped too far oh, into Dreyun Karst ourselves. Oh god, these guys are giving me, giving we, me a hard time, aren't they? Ah, there's no choice. Apprehending the assassin is top priority. 
We must press on. You know, I'm dealing with the hell deer. You could literally stand back and assume the worst, but no, you have to step Disturbing in. Disturbing our borders. Yes, they step on our territory. See them gone. One will not have interruption. Okay. The hell deer is ordering me to go after the, the other guys. To be Back Two arms! Take the target alive! Okay. Ah, dang it. Ow. Nice, got him on the old Uh, oops, what if? Dang it, use a rival item. What? Oh my god. Wait, did, uh... Did, uh... Barbara get, like, down so easily? A few moments later. Oh, these guys probably hit hard. No one escapes like us. Uh, they are. Uh, Take this, freak! <laughs> Dang, they hit hard. Take Man. the target alive. By far, Barbara, because I need. Barbara. <laughs> Her up. A few minutes later. Yeah, wet him. Attack! Yeah. And then oh. Nice. Oh. Grass in the way. Attack the joy. Oh. 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 I got it. Quickly. Freeze! Oh. Oh. All of you! Take the target alive! Alright, keep him frozen. Grab two frostbite. Come on, wet it. Breathe them. Rested. Breathe them and wet it. Ow! Oh, Barb getting hit so hard. Who goes there? Go Take there. the target alive! Why do you ask when I don't go there? at your purpose, Traveler. Wow. I am professional. Well. And then it goes to random dialogue where we don't actually hear it. Preposterous. The Liyue Qixing. Utterly disappointing. Qixing. How could someone possibly assassinate Rex Lapis during the rite of I'm dissension good. What about you? and then place suspicion <laughs> upon the attendees? Mm, so even the the hell deer is suspicious of everything. Traveler, of the unjust accusations placed upon you, one has become aware 
The mind knows its answer. Though one must consult with one's fellows, lest Sounds the mind stressful. be misguided. It was. Go. Take your sigil of permission. Mm. Carry with you a message. Go and speak no more of this. What should I look for? Where should I go? Mountain Shaper and Cloud Retainer can be found here. Only Cloud fate retainer. will decide if you Damn, shall find them. Damn, is crazy. Only fate. Like, there fate. exists a conqueror of demons. Mm. A guardian Yaksha. Yaksha. Go to Wangshu Inn. There you shall seek him. Go to place. Talk to person. End of story. <laughs> oh god, the hell deer wants me to do something again. Hey, who put this table here? Who put they anything anywhere? For dinner. There's a wine jug and everything. Oh, they even have the guest names carved into the seats. Here sits Retainer. Cloud Retainer. Here sits Guizhong. Here sits Rex. Hmm. Maybe Rex is short for Rex Lapis. But Paimon has no idea about Guizhong. As for Retainer... <gasps> That's it! When Moon Carver was going through the names of his... So this must be where Cloud Retainer and the other Adepti have their dinner parties. Uh, when did they ever have a dinner party, and why would you ever assume they did, just because there's a table with their names on it? <laughs> How about we cook up some extra special dishes for the Adepti? Okay. We're sure, but what do Adepti even eat anyway? Paimon has no idea. You just thought, oh, let's cook a dinner. What do we cook? Duh! You don't even know. You literally bought the cart before the horse, and you didn't even think that far. People must make offerings here all the time. Guess all we can also, do is Patrick, look around Also, Patrick, add a stupid counter for play on every, every time she says me. something stupid. Honey Rose. I try some sticky honey rose. Why would you assume they do? Alright, um... Uh, Lotus Heads? And Snapdragon. Someone has definitely cooked here. Looks like they didn't use all the ingredients. Let's see here. We got some snapdragon, and some lotus some cool. heads. Hey, look over there. They left some. Yup. It's a doozy. Hi, man. Remember. Okay. Do we have to cook stuff over here? Must be jewelry soup. What? Tofu. Uh. What is jewelry soup? Uh. Yes, we gotta cook up one thing for everything. Uh, we got at least two tries, so... Survival expert. Alright, where's the Matsutake meat? Here. I got plenty of ingredients, so I, there's no way to screw this up. Actually, there's plenty of ways. Alright, auto-cook. Have three of them. There we go. And a bonus. Cause I figured I could. Okay, uh offer a bunch of meat rolls. Yes. Offer um, more meat. Offer jewelry soup. There we go. Offer Meat. Done. Ooh. That unlocked. Don't know why. Alright. What's in this secret cage? For some reason, you need to know how to fish first before <laughs> going in to catch fish with your hands. Visit the Adeptic. Oh, oh, God. Recommended elements fire. Looks like Amber is up next. Um, current power level is lower than recommended. Uh, yeah, let's just do it. I got Amber. I got Amber. Got it. One senses the presence of a sigil of permission. One knows not why you have come, though the sincerity of your offering is clear. 
Hence, you shall be granted an opportunity to find your way through mine abode, and you shall receive an audience of the abundance whom you see. Ah, I need to kill everything. Kill everything. Kill them all. Kill them all. Oh, we never mind. I'm low on HP.
Another memory challenge. One eternity later. Just like that. There we go. Squeeze its tree. Alright, what are we doing? Why are we doing it? I don't know. And I think that's where we gotta get. What do we do now? This one. Is that the cloud retainer? One is most impressed. Oh god, it is. The path that leads through this abode defies those of ordinary abilities. Mm hmm Define ordinary. The one before you is the Adeptus Cloud Retainer. Big now speak of the matter which brings you here. Design. You surmise correctly. This place did one self-build, as did bird. one design the mechanisms within. I'm talking about a bird. Also, why is it called the Cloud Retainer? In fact, even Gui Zhang and Rex Lapis themselves found one's technological accomplishments to be worthy of commendation. This place is huge, and there are so many mechanisms. Do you really have this whole place to yourself? Yes, she does. What makes you think otherwise, Paimon? What's it even for? Did you build it as your private mechanism workshop or something? Why would you ask that? It's just like the stories say. The Adepti leave the human world, find somewhere to go be a hermit, and then they research and invent all these amazing things! Uh-huh. One is simply not partial to the tedium of social interaction, and wish to find some peace and quiet. You- that's very wordy, the way you put it. Like, you could just say, you're socially anxious, you just want to stay the hell away from everyone. That's basically what I'm getting. Find it one did. Shortly after which, you arrived bearing your sigil of permission. Oh my god, like, the way she's speaking is almost like a Yoda language. But enough. State the matter which brings you here at once. You have disturbed the tranquility of this place for long enough. Really? You could have stepped in at any time and said that, but no, you had to wait until this moment. Explain what happened at Leeway Harbor. Rex Lapis. Assassinated. She's gonna say it's preposterous. How can this be? Such a heinous crime. Who would dare? Uh, I don't know. Do you, will you have an idea? The notion is so preposterous as to be unbelievable. Perhaps one shall quash Liyue first, then convene with the other Adepti. Excuse me? You want to kill everyone? Wait, what? Did you just say squash Liyue Harbor? Are you seriously going to wipe out the whole city? Only a response of sufficient magnitude can negate the possibility of further incidents. I really feel like you're going to have a Hiroshima moment here. But the Adepti are sworn to protect the city. Aren't you supposed to protect the people there? It is as you say. We have protected Liyue Harbor under the leadership of Rex Lapis for 37 centuries. Mm. But in the face of this coup, by nefarious actors, Exceptional measures must be taken. Okay, I'm really starting to think of a mushroom cloud moment right here. Yikes! Quick, you gotta think of something. She wants to squash Lily and Flint. That's exactly what Paima was gonna say. We made all that delicious food and gave every last bit of it to you. <laughs> you really think that's gonna convince her? We made food. Okay, I'll forgive everyone. <laughs> no, that's not how it works, Paima. As much as I would disagree with Paimon with almost everything she says, simply on tone alone, there's one part I would agree with. Contract. A cruel irony that you should appeal to the notion after the merciless murder of the god of contracts himself. The people of Liyue seem quite content to dispense with their contracts. Imagine being a god of they contracts. They are quite adept at taking that mm, which is composed of black the worst and things white to be a god of. and turning it gray. Nevertheless, since you come here in the name of contracts, 
Far be it from one to abandon one's own contractual obligations. I'm pissed off and I want to kill everyone, says the white bird cloud retainer. Least of all when you come bearing a sigil of permission. Rex Lapis infused these sigils with adeptal power when he first cast them. That power once aided humans in battle. Most of the sigil's power has long since worn off. It is but a keepsake now. Mmm, so the sigil had power. This keepsake cannot be taken as proof of your trustworthiness. One must investigate the claims that you make independently. Uh-huh, do I have to go to the mountain, whatever it's called her? This, no doubt, is Mooncarver's very reason for summoning us. Your audience with the Adeptus before you is now concluded. Leave it once. And cut the dialogue immediately. Uh, wait. Do I have to go to the moon carver now? Or I can only go to one. Uh. No, I can still go to the other one. Okay, fine. Alright, moon carver.